Hey, what's up YouTube? My name's Cameron Doherty here with another tech video. Now, if you do any sort of content creation like me, or if you just have a camera and like to take photos or videos of your friends or family for your own personal use, in either case, you're gonna wind up amassing some of these SD cards or their smaller uh, brother in the micro SD card. And what you'll quickly find is that as these begin to pile up and you accrue more of them, they become incredibly difficult to keep track of and very easy to lose. So from there, it's a logical next step to look into some sort of a travel case or other way to keep them together. And one of the most commonly recommended versions of this is the Pelican case. If you look at other YouTubers, this is the Pelican 0915 memory card case, and it's awesome. This is just a Pelican SD card case. I've had these forever. Or recommendations across the internet, it's common to see the Pelican case recommended, and for good reason. Pelican is a totally reputable brand. They make great products, and they make much more elaborate, large, and very protective products that are extremely crucial for people that have expensive camera gear they need to protect. But when we're talking about SD cards, there's not a whole ton of protection that needs to happen, and really we just need something basic to hold them and to keep them together. So that's where I was looking for another solution to see if there was something cheaper out there, and I wanted to see if there was something I could share with you guys as potentially a better buy. And I think I may have found it. So a quick search on Amazon found this guy, and this is the JJC SD card holder, it holds 36 cards compared to the 24 in the Pelican case, and compared to the $24 for the Pelican case, this goes for just $9.99. And so I wanted to take a look at it and see if it was half decent, because for half the price, I'd much rather have something that just takes care of it without needing the fancy brand name. So let's go ahead and get this open and take a look at the quality of the construction and whether it makes any sense to buy. So it's essentially the exact same design as the Pelican case. Uh, you can see if you've seen that one before, it is a hard black plastic. Uh, it does have a seal around the outside that they claim water resistance. I'm not gonna try and test it because I don't wanna wreck any of my SD cards. Um, but as long as you don't dunk it in some water, you're probably gonna be fine. And for the most part, I think these are probably gonna live in a camera bag uh, or otherwise just be used in that manner. And I don't think you're gonna have to worry too much in most cases about these getting terribly wet. So let's see, there's a locking mechanism here which keeps it sealed. And let's see what this is like. Pretty sturdy. Feels like a strong hold and like it's not gonna just pop off in your bag or uh, you know at any time you don't want it to. And let's look at the inside. So you'll see that there is the same sort of form factor as the Pelican case. You've got um, six SD cards on each side, so a total of 12 SD cards. But there's a differentiator here when it comes to the smaller cards. And that's the fact that this, as you can see, for each individual SD card holds two micro SD cards. And so that means you've got now 24 micro SD and 12 SD. If you compare that to the Pelican case, the Pelican case can hold 12 SD cards, six micro SD cards, and six mini SD cards. And if you were like me, you said mini SD, are those, does anybody still use those? Is that even a thing? Uh, and looking on the internet, no, I don't think it is much of a thing anymore. And I think honestly, they've just had this product, the Pelican, product around for so long, and they haven't bothered updating it. Uh, but really, unless you specifically use micro SD and need a place to carry it, in which case, absolutely, that makes sense, because you got zero here, uh, you're really just losing out on space otherwise. Uh, so, you know, that's a huge consideration here. If you're somebody that has a ton of cards and need to carry them around, if you've got a ton of micro SD cards, you might need to get two Pelican cases where you could handle it all in one within the JJC. So overall, I think that could be a huge deciding factor for people. Outside of that, I think the foam is a pretty good material. Uh, it's It's got just enough cushion to it. It feels like it's gonna hold vibrations. We gotta check how it does at actually holding the cards in because obviously if the cards fall out, then that's not gonna be much of a help. So we can pop in our micro SD. 
very snug fit. We can toss in a couple SD cards. Yeah. So I think overall that is a very good fit. It shows that the, the foam is of a decent enough quality uh, that they're securely in there. It's not, let's see, yeah, not terribly difficult to pull them out, which is sometimes a concern. If you, you know, really have to wedge them out, you might wind up bending or breaking them, which would be very disappointing. Uh, the micro cards also not too hard to pull out. So I think, you know, by and large, this is a, a solid, a solid product. It's everything that it promised to be. And at only $10, it seems like a pretty, pretty good buy. So if you're looking to save a buck, uh, I'll have this linked down below, uh, with an affiliate link, as well as the Pelican case. If you do have that mini SD, or if you just want to stick with a more reputable brand that you think will hold up better in the, in the long term. Uh, I'll link them both down in the description if you've got the problem that I'm running into as I start to amass more and more SD cards. Uh, so just hopefully that's a little, a little glimpse firsthand at something if you're looking at it on Amazon wondering if it's any good or if you're looking for an alternative to the Pelican case, uh, check out the JJC 36 card case.